Hi, I'm Ben Warren from Be Pure, and I just wanted to film this quick video on estrogen dominance because we just see it so prevalent uh, in regards to our clinic and, and then people attending my seminars. So what is estrogen dominance? Estrogen is a, a, a hormone. It's primarily a female hormone, but it, you know, men have a little bit of it too. And what we're seeing is, is we're seeing people have too much estrogen. Why are they having too much estrogen? Primarily two reasons. The first reason is environmental, is that we are exposed to a lot of chemicals in our environment now that mimic estrogen. They're called xenoestrogens. And so what that means, these are PCBs, diets, and things that leach out of plastics, like in water bottles, parabens, phylates, which are in skincare products and absorbing into, our, in, into your bloodstream through your skin. And what they do, they, they sit on the estrogen receptor site and they mimic estrogen, and they're, but they're very, very strong. And so that then means we start getting excess estrogen. Now, our livers are meant to be able to cope with this, so excess estrogen comes around to the liver, and it, our, our liver's meant to be, be able to detoxify this. But because of a lack of nutrition um, and an increased load in the modern world, we're not able to detoxify the estrogen, and it gets spilled back over into the bloodstream, where uh, it then can activate these estrogen-sensitive cells. And so what are some of the symptoms of estrogen dominance? Well, let's start from a... A male perspective first and foremost which you may not think it's a male problem but it is for men you're going to get man boobs you're going to get increased body fat accumulation in the chest and you're also going to start then getting um, more fat around the oblique so you know bigger love handles and um, for men in regards to long-term health issues estrogen dominance is certainly associated with prostate um, cancer as estrogen, estrogen receptive cancers uh, for women um, it's generally much more of a significant problem, estrogen dominance. So we're, we're seeing for women, um, well, the classic example would be that we're, we're seeing 13, 14 year olds, well, puberty first and foremost is happening earlier and earlier. And the reason being is because of this uh, excess estrogen in the environment. And so puberty is happening earlier. And then because of estrogen dominance, uh, these young ladies are, are having very heavy menses. So they're then put on birth control pills to try and control uh, heavy bleeding and then at that point there that masks the symptoms until they're usually about 28 when they come off the pill and then within a few years we're then seeing people come into the clinic with endometriosis which is uh, where uh, endomelial tissue is growing outside of the uterus which is a, a, a disease and so um, symptoms of estrogen dominance primarily are going to be for women around weight gain. So it's going to be weight gain around the, the middle, particularly the hips. So if you have trouble losing weight off your hips, um, it's going to be, you're going to have a lot of premenstrual imbalance um, because you're not going to have enough progesterone to balance off the estrogen, uh, heavy menses, um, maybe even uh, hormone mediated migraines, headaches um, associated with this as well. Difficulty getting pregnant is then also associated with it so it's a, it's a major major problem in the modern world so some of the things that we like people to do is, is to try and minimize their exposure of these environmental estrogens um, so moving away from plastic water bottles um, moving to natural skin care products um, and then and then trying to upregulate the liver's detoxification processes so everything in bp one is designed to do that obviously um, broccoli sprouts are fantastic and then um, three-day broccoli sprouting broccoli seeds well eating cruci cruciferous vegetables so eating your your broccoli your cauliflower your brussels sprouts your cabbage are all going to help your body detoxify these estrogens so it's a big big problem and it's something that uh, you know we see a lot clinically and um, you know we've got to have people aware of this so we can start start protecting ourselves from it okay so i hope that helps